It was the early 1990s, and the Philippine shipping industry was at its peak. It was during this time that the battle of the best ships a shipping company could offer became fierce and exciting. Often referred to as flagships, these ships were the ultimate embodiment of a shipping company's commitment in serving the Filipino people. Rivalries ensued, with flagships going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other to provide the best service, the best speed, or in some cases, both. Finally, we have Negros Navigation. And of course, they also wanted to get in. So they brought with them a flagship of their own. A beautiful one. What's going on, ship spotters? Welcome to this newest ship feature video. Today, it's all gonna be about another great liner from the golden era of Philippine shipping, the short-lived flagship vessel of Negros Navigation, the MS St. Francis of Assisi. We will take you on an exciting trip reminiscing the past with more information and fun facts about this iconic ship. Stay tuned! If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates. Tara na! Now na! The Negros Navigation Company acquired a new liner in 1994 in response to the fierce competition in the liner industry, which was the beautiful and the striking flagship which will be later known as the MS St. Francis of Assisi. She was the former Queen Coral No. 2 of Terukuni Yusen KK, a defunct Japanese shipping line where she served the Kagoshima to Amami to Naha and vice versa route when she first sailed in Japanese waters. She was built by Hayashikane Shipbuilding and Engineering Company in their Nagasaki shipyard in 1975. She has a length overall of 140.1 meters and a breadth of 18.5 meters. Her hull was made of steel. She had a forward mast, a majestic center funnel, a bulbous stem, a cruiser stern with three passenger decks. She had a bifold ramp located at the starboard and port side quarter stern, thus making her a Roro ship despite having a cruiser stern. She was equipped with two Mitsubishi Man diesel engines with a total output of 24,000 horsepower, giving her an original top speed of 24 knots. In 1982, she was sold to Kurishima Kosan and later to Kansai Kisen Kaisha and was later renamed as a Queen Flower No. 2, serving the Hanshin, Imbari, Matsuyama, Beppu, and vice versa route during her later years. She was considered to be a cruise ferry back then as all of her interiors and cabins were considered to be above standards. She stopped sailing in Japan in early 1994 and was sold to Negros Navigation later that year. She was named after a well-loved saint and a well-respected icon of the Roman Catholic Church, St. Francis of Assisi. She became the flagship of Negros Navigation where all of their vessels were named after saints. Upon her arrival in the country, MS St. Francis of Assisi only had a few alterations on her superstructure, the extension of its stern part, 
and the addition of the economy accommodation on its topmost deck. She was capable of doing 20 to 21 knots, but in her later years in the Iloilo route, she was made to sail at only 18 knots sustained. MS St. Francis of Assisi retained most of her original Japanese cabin accommodation, was later known to have the reputation of having one of the best cabin accommodations and having majestic interiors among liners, especially in the Iloilo room. She also had a side trip going to Puerto Princesa in Palawan with a once a week schedule during that time. She was considered to be the most beautiful vessel that had ever served in the route. She was later transferred to the Nasipit route in Agusan del Norte apart from her regular Iloilo and Bacolod route. Sadly, on one of her voyages in the port of Nasipit, MS St. Francis of Assisi was hit by a shipboard fire and was burned while moored in the port on January 26, 1999. The fire was put out, but she sustained significant damage. She was then towed to Cebu, but was deemed to be beyond economic repair, and subsequently, she was broken up. The MS St. Francis of Assisi had served only less than five years during her time as a flagship vessel of the Negros Navigation Company. A sad fate and story of a beautiful short-lived flagship ferry liner of Negros Navigation. Do you have any experience on board this vessel? Or do you have any memories to share? Please let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.